All right, guys, this is Ian. I'm back with another video. So I'm going to go to the pawn shop and try to get the, the ring back. I believe this is the place. Uh, have some fancy bags. Very nice. Okay. Welcome, sir. Are you looking for something? Uh, yes. What? Oh my gosh, I have to have $1,200 to buy this. Hey, that ring actually is mine. What? Someone stole it. It belongs to me. Can you give back to me? Yeah, we get customer like you. Who's a faker. No, 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 I'm serious. It's mine. I can't believe what Yakuza said. I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't give up. Shit. Um, I must get money. Let's uh, find someone who belongs to the Yakuza family or something. Shit. <laughs> so I have to go. <laughs> go get the money. Hmm. Okay, shit. I don't have enough money. Do I know someone who can borrow me a money? Nishiki? <laughs> Only... No, that's not the direction I need to go. Okay. No. Only friend I... Oh, well, based on the map, I can see. I have to go this way. Oh. Oh, Shinji! Hey, brother! Brother Kiryu! Shinji! I didn't think I'll find you here. Are you gonna have sex? <laughs> Shinji. This is a perfect timing. Please, rent me a money. Don't ask me any questions. What? Uh, yes, sure. That's odd that you don't have... You're asking me for money. Are you trying to buy a, like, beautiful woman? I don't have enough time. Can you hurry? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Please tell me how it goes, brother. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. And we're going to talk about the soap, soap land. <laughs> so... If, if you're a fan of my, my videos and watch the Yakuza Zeros, in, in Zeros we talked, you know, partially about um, stores that provide sexual services. Okay, so um, Shin, Shinji is into that kind of services. I think he loves to, you know, buy a woman and have sex. Well, this city is based on Shinjuku, which is, you know, a city that really exists in Japan and it's very similar. Um, and they do have a lot of, you know, stores that provide these sexual services. But there's many different types. When you think about sexual services, you know, the, the first thing comes to our mind is just sex. Well, Japanese are so creative that they came up with uh, many different forms of sexual services. <laughs> well... But, you, know, you may ask, well, Yen, you know, is it legal to have these stores in Japan? Well, actually, it's not. It's not permitted to, you know, have these kind of services in Japan. What they, what they do is they said, well, we put, you know, a girl and a guest, which is a man, to a room. And we don't know what, hap you know, we don't know what happens in that room. But whatever happens, it's their responsibility. We're just offering a room and a girl. So that's that's their stance. So they're saying they don't really, you know, offer sexual services. They're saying they only offer room and a woman in a room. And whatever they do in there is not our business. It's up to them. But they still charge you like tremendous amount of money. 
Usually, for like two hours, they charge you from like hundred and fifty dollars to you know maybe up to three hundred dollars. But sometimes you get lucky and um, you get really beautiful woman. Sometimes you get like monsters or creatures, like <laughs> really big woman or I don't know. I never been there, but I hear stories on on internet. So going back to what Shinji said, Shinji said, you know. Because Kiryu was asking for $1,200, Shinji's like, oh, you're gonna go to these special stores. Well, more money you pay, the, the better chance you'd be able to have sex with cuter girls. In fact, if you pay like $1,200, you, you can probably have sexual intercourse with um, actual adult video stars, porn stars. You know, there are services like that. So, I think that's why Shinji was saying, you know, please let him know how it goes at the <laughs> these sexual stores. But we know Kiryu is not going there. Uh, then, covering other stuff like different ranks of services. So, less money you pay, less service you get. Um, for example, if you only pay like $30, maybe they'll give you blowjob. There, there's a store specifically for blowjobs. Um, there is something called opai pub. Opai means boobs in English. Um, in that place, if you go there, these gr there's like tons of girls with big breasts. <laughs> like they have a clock, right? And you get to stay there for like an, for an hour for I don't know fifty dollars or something. And every like five or ten minutes, these girls rotate. You know, they come on their, your lap and they sit facing your way and you get to play with their breast for 10 minutes or whatever uh, so those those are like casual sexual services and if you pay big bucks you get to actually have you know take a bath with girls and do do stuff afterwards so it's very interesting and um you know you just remember it's it's illegal and what i heard is um only japanese can enjoy these services so if you're visiting from America or from Europe or wherever, if you're not Japanese, you cannot participate in these kind of services. Which kind of makes sense because it's just different country, you know, different, uh, I guess, I wouldn't say disease, but it's just, it's not safe, I guess. So if you're American, I'm sorry, but you will not be able to enjoy these services. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I heard. Alright, so now I have money so I can buy it. Alright, let's buy the ring. Welcome, are you looking for something, sir? Yes. Oh. What? It's $1,500 now. What the hell? Hey, the price is different. It's here again? Sorry, but price went up. Because people's... People wants to buy this. Please, this was the last item I could find. There's no other store that has this item. Oh, you can buy it here. As long as you have money. Yeah. There's a way I can prove it to you that ring belongs to me. There's engraving, says Yumi. Doesn't matter what you say. If you want it, get the money. Shit. Alright, let me get the money. Maybe I can find Shinji again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now Shinji Shinji's gonna think that I'm really into the sexual services. Terrible. I need money. Money! Anyone close here? Uh now I can go this way. <laughs> oh, it's Shinji again. <laughs> Brother, you're so fast. You came fast? <laughs> Sorry, Shinji. <laughs> Borrow money again. I need to go back again. Brother, you like it that much? Please, I can't explain to you right now. I don't want others to get the item. Yeah, sure. Okay. Borrow $300. <laughs> Thanks. 
<laughs> wow. I need to hustle too. I'm gonna go stop by the many different sexual stores tonight. <laughs> this is terrible. It's funny as hell though. Alright. Let's see. I, I am guessing they're gonna raise the price again. Ring is gone. Someone bought it? Oh, you came back. Hey. Where did Ring go? Don't worry about it. I kept it for you. Oh, really? Yeah, I could tell you're serious about buying this ring, so... I looked up the ring and I saw the name that you mentioned. So I believe you, this item was stolen. Oh. Oh, thank you. Please sell the, sell the ring to me. Ah. It's okay. If I saw something that was stolen, I'll be in jail. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, what's free? Sweet. Yumi is kind of hot. Yumi, Yumi, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Yumi! Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Hey, here's the present. Oh, what is it? Can I open it? Of course. Wow. Can I really have it? Of course it's yours. Uh, Yumi? Yes? Um, I, uh... I have a present for you. Really? Thank you. Uh, it's... This. This ring is... You? Give it to me? That's ugly ring. Cheap and looks... Ugly. Hey, don't be rude. I can see my name in there. Did you like it or no? No, oh, it's very nice. I thought that was like a popular ring. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's almost Yumi's birthday, huh? Oh. Then I should give you a present. Maybe a ring? Ring? Um, I don't think so. That's too much? What do you mean, too much? Well, the ring usually... You want it from someone you like. Oh. Does it mean you like someone? No, 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 I don't... I didn't mean that, but... Sorry. Oh, so you mean like someone else, eh? <laughs> Hey, we're customers. Ah, so that's what's going on. That's what happened before. So, what about my birthday? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you can give me a necklace and Nishiki can give me a ring. What? Well, fine. 
<laughs> so there's some like love triangle going. So again, September 30th, midnight. Is that Yumi? Few hours later, October 1st, 4 p.m. Good morning. Were you tired? You were sleeping for a long time. Oh. Well, where's Nishiki? He left already. Okay. Well, what time is it now? It's four. I think you need to go to meet Mr. Kazama. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm leaving. Um, what are you gonna do? I think I just prepare for a store then. I'll probably leave in few hours. Alright. What about Yumi? She went home. I'll switch with her once she's here. Okay. Now I'll uh, stop by tonight. Okay. Alright, this is a good place to stop. So thank you for watching this far. Uh, story is kind of slow at the beginning, but I'm sure it will pick up really fast. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!